Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, this sketchbook tour is really interesting because it's the sketchbook I was trying to fill before Inktober, and then I ended up getting a brand new sketchbook. So this is another Illo sketchbook, and if you're interested, they're really good sketchbooks. Um, you can go and check them out. Not a sponsor. I just like these sketchbooks. I although I think that I might switch sketchbooks soon because I already have one that needs to be full. But yeah, it's a pretty cool sketchbook. I've enjoyed them a lot. So I was trying to fill this sketchbook for Inktober. I mean, before Inktober came around. So a lot of these are a little bit old and a lot of them I have never shown. I did not like that. I need to practice more of characters looking upwards and practicing on the shadows on their necks and everything. And I was just trying to do that there. Newt Scamander, the only problem with this drawing was the fact that I got blood all over it. Little doodle of Tiana. I was trying to do this in my own style. I do like the way that it turned out. And I just really wanted to. I love this dress. I love the lily pad dress. And then I've got all the inside out little doodles right here. I just wanted to doodle them. It first started off with just bing bong in the middle. And then I just went ahead and expanded around it. And look, it looks so much better. They're so cute. I love the, the inside out emotions. Then we've got Mr. Ron Swanson right here. Gotta draw him, he loves America, bacon, and breakfast food. So yeah, I really love this. I need to make prints of this one, it makes me so happy. And then we've got Mia Thernopolis from Princess Diaries. I wanted to draw her and I love her end gown, the one at the end of the movie. She's a Disney princess we often don't really think about. And then I've got Leslie Nope with the waffles and I love Indiana. I love drawing in this certain style, like the just how cartoony it is. So here was my draw this in my style challenge of the orange sherbet. I got the orange sherbet girl, the character, the original character I made up for the challenge. And then this was supposed to be Donna and Tom from Parks and Rec in that fun cartoon style. I just never got around to finishing it, but I need to finish it. And then I wanted to draw the Haunted Mansion dudes. I was just bored and I think I was just waiting during one of my classes on a break and I wanted to hurry up and sketch them and I did. And then here is Merida and her little brother. I don't really like the way that I drew his little paws folding over. And then here is Vixie from... So here's Vixie from Fox and the Hound. And the thing about her is I actually used her as a, um, a Huvember. I'm doing Huvember right now. And one of the days was this orange color for a fox. So I went back and I colored her in. I used her for a Huvember. I was listening to a lot of audiobooks and I've been drawing a ton of audiobooks. So this is actually from the book Fangirl. And I went ahead and drew those two main characters. And then here is a sketch. Once again, I was just on break and I went ahead and I drew Aurora. And here's Coraline. I started to do this in like a pencil ink sketch and I never finished it. Lots of things I never ever finish. And then this is from turning the Disney princesses into animals challenge. And I went ahead and did that. See, you got Anna, Snow White, Tiana, Cinderella, and Belle. So you can see how old that this actual, <laughs> that this actual sketchbook is. That was a while ago. Here I was practicing a couple of unicorns, different unicorns, just giving it a try. And then we've got more Disney princesses into animers. So you've got Rapunzel, Elsa, Ariel, Moana, and Jasmine. I started reading all the Lunar Chronicles and I got done with Cinder and I moved on to Scarlet and Scarlet and Wolf are by far my favorite characters out of the whole series. I just love Scarlet and Wolf and their whole love story so spoilers. <laughs> then I got to Cress of the Lunar Chronicles which is Rapunzel. Like, it's all the Grimm's Tales, but, you know, they're different names, and the, but they have a lot of similarities to the Grimm's Tales. If you're looking for books to read, the Lunar Chronicles are amazing. So here's Cress, 
and I wanted her to not look like the Rapunzel we know from Tangled, so I tried to make her more in my own style. And here's Prince Kai from the Lunar Chronicles holding Cinder's boot. It's a baby cyborg boot boot because in the Lunar Chronicles, Cinder is a cyborg. So that Cinderella is a cyborg. So here's Prince and here's Princess Winter from the Lunar Chronicles and she's actually Snow White. So she has a really awesome different story. You see she's got like this whole story about this. She has these three scars on her face and then she's got this awesome animal love crazy awesome thing where you know Snow White is beloved by all animals and she's got this one thing with this awesome white wolf. She go, you really need to read this guys if you ever are looking for anything and she sees snow crystals all the time uh, another spoiler but I mean I really suggest that you all go and read this and as you can see I got coffee all over this but here's Scarlet and Wolf once again and just a spoiler you see what he turns into gives you a little bit more of a like idea what's going on it's based on Red Riding Hood all right, and then here is Miss Pocahontas. Went ahead and I just drew her in my own style. Just thought it was fun to throw a little watercolor on there. And then here's another book. I really, really, really enjoyed this book. It was the origin story of the Queen of Hearts and it was called Heartless. It's amazing. I loved it so much. And if you ever get a chance to read this winter break or summer, make sure you read Heartless. I loved, loved, loved this book. Uh, and then I was just trying, I think I did a tutorial on this on how to color hair with Copic markers. So I used Ariel as an example. Uh -huh. Okay, and so here is Cress and Captain Thorn from the Lunar Chronicles. So this is like their story is a love story as well. And I went ahead and drew them together. It's super cute how they end up together because I just love it. I love their love story. Once again, spoilers. <laughs> and this is my dad's drawing. He actually drew this in my sketchbook when I left it out because I just left it out on the table and he took my pencil and he went ahead and he drew that. He's always drawn this for me and it's so cute. I love it. I need to frame it. <laughs> and then here's Mr. Winnie the Pooh from Christopher Robin. Went ahead and drew this. Isn't it just adorable? I, this is actually done in watercolor, so it feels a lot different on the paper. And then here's Jane from Tarzan. Went ahead and drew this quick little doodle of Jane. I don't think, yeah, this is like the second, this is the first time I've ever drawn Jane and then I drew Jane in Inktober. So I completely forgot that I drew her in this pose with the parrots. And I just thought, well, this only makes sense. Obviously I'm Jane because she's got all these parrots going to her. <laughs> And then here's a sketch of a ballerina. I didn't like it because I made her torso way too short. Or, I don't know, something's just really off. It could be proportionate. I don't think it is. So, not a fan of how this turned out. And then I wanted to draw Aurora again. And, I mean, I like the way that it's turning out, but I just stopped. I do a lot of that sometimes. I just start drawing stuff and I want, okay, I'm done. <laughs> And then this is a church doodle I was drawing with my pen. It's just a girl and a fox kind of looking at the falling leaves. And I never finished it, but I, I always take my sketchbook and with me to church. It helps me pay attention more. Yeah, I mean, that's just the thing. If I'm doodling, I pay attention more. And a lot of teachers encourage that. So statistics show that you pay attention more if you bring in something to doodle on. And then here's this fun little inktober little doodle I made to make as my little profile picture for um, Inktober. So this was my little avatar for a while. So this Tiana is done completely in ink. So you can see, I think, no, this is not my sparkle stuff, but I went ahead. I was already practiced and amped up for Inktober so much. I got some swatches over here but I was really excited and I think this is like half ink and half Copic markers. I mean, it's all ink, but still. And then here's the pen challenge, the one video I did where I didn't like sketch it out at all. I mean, it's crazy and I actually put in a night sky. I don't think I did that on my video, but this, I'm really happy with how this turned out. 
there's a lot of things I would have changed, but I think it looks really cool. And then we've got Anastasia, because I just, I love this dress. I love all of Anastasia's dress. I really, really do. I think they're so cool. And I wish I could have every single one. And then this, this sketch Glen King created for the concept art of Ariel, I can never get right. Right now she looks completely wrong. She looks like she has too fat of a face. And I, I really want to get this sketch right. I have never, ever been able to recreate this concept drawing of Ariel. Never been able to. So I drew her again in my own style. And these are actually for Hugh Vembers. Uh, Hugh Vember is kind of, um, I'm in a crazy bad art block after Inktober. And what happens is somebody did the challenge where you pick a hue as in the color, the actual color scale of all colors. And what you do is you pick a color a day. So each day of November has a color assigned to it. So I went ahead and I joined that entire challenge and I was thinking about doing a whole video on all my Huevember sketches soon and so that's actually helped me a ton to get out of the art block that I am in currently and then here's Red Riding Hood so you can't really tell but this red is actually a step up from this red. So this is another hue of ember. And I missed the day for the pink hue of ember. So I combined them together just because I didn't really like, yeah, I didn't really have enough time to <laughs> do stuff anymore. But yes, it's definitely a different shade of red. And then, and then for the next day, I went and saw the Nutcracker and the Four Realms and I really wanted to draw the Nutcracker and I don't know, it just wasn't turning out right. I think I did it totally wrong, but at least I tried. And I just wasn't, and the fact that I wanted to line it and everything and I didn't have a pencil to erase or even draw or finish his hand. And by the time, it was already the next day. So I never got to actually use him as my Hue Vember because I was going to like color him in red. So that didn't work out. And then here's actually the, um, Here's the Sugar Palm Fairy from the Nutcracker and the Four Realms. I really love doing this dress. This, the movie was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I wish there was a little bit more Christmas to it, which I would have really enjoyed, but whatever. It was okay, but I loved the costumes and the dresses and the character um, choices. I loved the characters, like the different realms and seeing the different uh, designs to each character. I really enjoyed that. Here is my fiance and myself, and I'm gonna use this as a Hue Vember, one of the blue ones. I'm waiting for uh, the one blue that's a B00 for this, just to kind of shade it in and make it look all cute and everything. But I'm gonna, I'm saving this one for one of the Hue Vembers, so I'll come back to that. And then here's a cute little colored pencil drawing of Bambi. It's one of the original concept sketches. I don't know. Bambi's been showing up a lot on my Pinterest, and I thought I'd go ahead and give him a little try and doodling him. And it actually turned out really well. I like the way that he turned out. Oh, and then here's Anastasia. I used her for this purple hue vember because actually her dress is this midnight blue and then the purple is the kind of like cape things that are hanging from the back. Um, so I really, once again, I love Anastasia's dresses. So I was trying to make her look a little bit normal because in this pose, she just looks very disproportionate in the cartoon. But I was trying to make her look a little bit normal so I, I think I tried to <laughs> at least. <laughs> but she still looks a little off. And then for today, for not today's Hue Vember, but a couple, like yesterday, yeah, yesterday, this was the Hue Vember, and I have not drawn Elsa in this dress yet for Christmas time, so I thought I'd go ahead and draw her in this awesome dress for uh, Olaf's Crazy Christmas Adventure, whatever it's called, but it was a lot of fun. And then here is Jack Frost, because it's actually funny, because on my Instagram, it's set up that Elsa is like to the right on my Instagram feed and then Jack is to the left so he's like looking at her which is super cute so like she's making all this snow and it's going around him and plus he was the perfect day for today's November so I had to go ahead and use him and then I have one more page for November and then I gotta use the um the doodle of myself and my fiance but yeah let's see what else is in here 
I've got a couple drawings. Oh, I've got a watercolor in here. I've got a cute little watercolor of Thumper and his girlfriend, Miss Bunny. I don't know what her name is, but yeah, that's in here. And then there's my cousin Faith, always signing everything. <laughs> But yeah, that's just fun. I'm so excited that I finally got to finish this actual uh, sketchbook because I've been carrying it around so long. I think I've had this since the summer. I think I definitely, if I go back in my Instagram, I think I drew this Spider-Man back in June or July or something. I don't know. And this was before I knew he was going to be black and red. <laughs> so I'm so excited about that. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little sketchbook video. And maybe I can show you all my Hue Vembers later and just kind of show all that and just to show you if you have an art block next year or if you want to finish out the rest of Hue Vember for, um, the month of November it really helps with the art block because I'm just trying to get out of this lull so yeah I'll probably uh, rip about a bunch of these out and sell them on my Etsy for Christmas presents whatever they may go for I'm always inexpensive on there but yes guys I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later bye